Welcome! Hello, I'm Aaron Taylor from Shadow Alchemist, and in this small tutorial, we're going to set up um, some expressions or the equivalent of that for PNG pets. So, we know PNG pets are the easiest and more versatile pets that we provide with BTS Pog. They are super easy to set up. You, have, you just only need two PNGs or GIFs, and you are ready to go. They are great, and I love them. Pog online poggers. You can see there, we have po I have Pokemon. I use them in my streams actively, even though I have like the Light 2D and the 3D uh, versions of Pokemon. I like the PNG version a lot. But PNG pets have a small, small limitation, which is also like super big, which is that they run directly in the OBS. They are only a browser source. They don't have like the cool frame of like a bigger program like B2Studio or Binyan or Warudo that provides like a lot of extra functions. It has browser souls and BTS pod. So you're quite limited on what you can do with the pets. Even though make expression for the pets is not, not impossible. You just need to be a bit more creative with them. For example, here, Kapokun talking and Park online poggers. I can change the expression. So it's like a more angry Pokemon. And here, Pog more like online poggers. Ubu Pokemon. This is super simple. Um, it's, it's a bit more trickery. And I'm going to walk you on my setup for this and two options on how you can go about this setup. There's many more variations of this, but you just need two different things. One is properly setting up your browser sources in OBS. And the second one is to um, have a way to trigger um, the change in expression. First of all, the obvious part. So to start, we need to have the three expressions that we want to use with um, our PNG pet. In this case, I made uh, I have my normal uh, TTS pet. It's just a normal. 3 frame pet in this case, it can work with any variation, GIFs, whatever, it doesn't matter. The important is that you have a folder with just your normal pet. Then you want to copy that folder for each expression you want to use. In this case, I made a copy, I made an angry. And what I did is I opened a Pokemon on Photoshop and I added like the angry eyebrow, so it's like the angry expression. Then I did the same process and I did a blue sheet effect on Pokemon. They got like the blue sheet there. Uh, oh, there you can see. Oh, there you can see over there. <laughs> the blue sheet expression of Pokemon. That way I have like the three different expressions for Pokemon directly. As you can see here, my head is a little bit on the way, but you can see here that it's just only the same basic folder that you can find in our PNG uh, zip files with all the browser sources. I just copy it twice, uh, twice, the original and one for each expressions I want to use. You want all the expressions to have their own PNGs and their own browser source, because that way makes the process way, way simpler. After that, we're going to go to OBS. It's going to get a bit meta because you are going to start seeing like this duplicate totality. I don't know how to show it without. Oh, I can probably look at that. OK, there we go. <laughs> Now we go to OBS. Let me make Pokemon a bit smaller. Oh, the magic broke there for a second. So, as you can see here, Pokemon is actually a group of sources, not an actual one source. So in this whole group, when I move it around, you will see that Pokemon moves on my screen, right? But internally, as you can see, it's actually like three, the three different sources all stuck together all in sync with each other that way, right? So if I hide the blush uh, expression, it go back to the normal. If I enable the blush, go on top, and so on. This is the best way, in my opinion, to set this up, because this way is simpler. You have only one group, your pet is this, and you just copy this whole group together for each scene. You copy the group together as this here, um, it will copy as a reference between the different scenes. So whenever you tell one or the other, it will persist between scenes, which is what you want for this setup. After that, 
It's always important to keep the normal expression at the bottom of the list. You want normal to be at the bottom and then the top ones to be, the other expression to be on top, stack on top of each, uh, that one. Why do you want this? Because when you, we are going to be uh, triggering the visibility of these sources to change the expressions. And you don't keep the normal expression at the bottom, it's going to have the, the, the problem that the pet may blink depending on how quickly um, your triggering of choice will interact with these uh, sources. That's why you want to always have the normal expression at the bottom. So it, whenever you trigger something, watch a trigger on top, and even it takes a second or two to appear, you are not going to have the, the pet flickering. It doesn't, it's not a second or two, it tends to be like half a second, but it's enough to, enough to be noticeable, and I don't like it. So I recommend to make it like this. By doing this, we already have the base setup. We have a group with the three browser sources and the browser sources, browser source with the normal expression at the bottom. With that, we are ready to go to, to trigger this expression with hotkeys. You can use many programs for this, um, but I'm going to use the two programs I'm most comfortable with to use uh, for this setup, which are Streamerbot and um, Stream Deck. Streamerbot is a free program, super great. The UI can be a bit scary, but it's quite powerful of a program. The other one is Stream Deck. Stream Deck, you need some physical way to trigger those keys, right? You need a Stream Deck of sorts. Um, so that's why I also include a streamer bot, which is uh, a free program. At the moment, at the moment of recording this video, as far as I know, there's no way to auto trigger it with Mititab, given that Mititab doesn't have an ability to trigger hotkeys. If you want to trigger it with um, Mititab by using uh, commands or some other kind of interaction that provi Mititab, Mititab provides, do it in the same logic. You can apply the same logic I'm going to explain here to any program, which is that this source uh, toggling depending on the expression. So let me keep this on the side for a second. Let me move myself probably to the side for a bit because I'm a bit on the way. Uh, it's here. Nope, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> um, so we are going to now set up streamer bot for this and we would make Pokemon a little bit smaller. We have another Pokemon there, ignore it. Um, so we're going to check Streamerbot first. So in Streamerbot, you will find this series of um, actions uh, in the description below to download if you want to, but they are super simple. What I did basically is um, I selected the, the um, uh, three different um, sources in OBS and I set them up in the visibility I want for each expression. So for Pet Angie, I want Angry to be visible. I want Ubu, the, the, the blue expression, to be hidden, and I want normal to be enabled. You always want normal enabled because of the flickering I mentioned. It's going to look bad. Unless you have some reason why you can't leave the normal one enabled, maybe you have a different animation, or you have like a bigger hat, I don't know, something that, that may be tricky to keep the, the, the normal one at the bottom, highly recommend always keep them uh, the normal one visible. You can't, you may need to deal with the flicker. It's going to work, it's just going to be a bit wonkier with that. So, this is for Angie. Normal is the same, but all the two sources for Angie and Ubu are hidden, and the normal one is visible. And for Ubu, uh, Angie is hidden, Ubu is visible, and normal is visible. With that, I added to all of them a hotkey uh, trigger. I set up three hotkeys here in a streamer bot, which is control one, control two, and control three. And then over on this, I um, uh, connected each of these hotkeys to one of the actions, which is uh, I put control one for normal, control two for angry, and control three for um, ooh. Now I go and press my keyboard, control one, control two, Control 3, and you can see them there. Oh, as an idiot, I scale down. I did, I show up something that shouldn't happen. What, why is that happening now? So, what I did is that I scale the pet and not 
the whole group when I was scaling it down, which is an issue because we want the, the tree expressions to be at the same size. So I'm going to like control C this, make sure all of the expressions are at the same size again. There we go. And then I'm going to scale down the group now. There we go. So, sorry, my phone. Try out of battery. <laughs> so now I press Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3, Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3. Normal, angry, blush, angry, blush, normal, angry, normal, blush, normal. Super easy, super fast. As you can see, um, the process is quite seamless and depends a lot of, of like for you to get used to uh, doing this process. Of course, being this in a uh, streamer bot, you can also link if you want all this thing to like a redeem or a command, same as I said before with mix it up. It's open, it's, it's feasible, depends on what you need for your pet. Um, but for the, 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 the context of this tutorial, the idea is to trigger them with hotkeys. So control one, control two, control three, trigger expressions. So this is a streamer bot variation or way to trigger the keys. We're going to now check it out with um, Stream Deck, which the process for Stream Deck is exactly the same as with the Stream Deck. So, in the Stream Deck here, I, um, I have um, the multi-action um, plugin for um, Stream Deck. I'm going to put the a link to that plugin below and I have the OBS um, connection uh, plugins. You need to have them both set up and connected that you can check some tutorials on how to connect the OBS one. It can be tricky if you have never connected some external program to OBS, but the process once you know how it goes is quite easy. The first time can be a bit scary, but you have to have, you need to have th those two plugins connected and working with your stream deck. Then what I did is the same thing I did with the streamer bot. I went and created three multi actions. Uh, I set for the normal one the visibility of the sources for Angi and Ugu to hidden, and the visibility for normal to visible. Then for Angi, I made Angi to be visible, I made Ugu to be hidden, and I made again normal to be visible. We want normal to always be visible to prevent flickering. And for Lush, I did exactly the same. But for the U, right? I put uh, Angi at hidden, U at visible, and normal at visible. And with this, I will click now in my stream deck here. You can see my hand. Can you see my hand there? No. Okay, I want to <laughs> click my stream deck. Believe me, trust me. And expressions change. You can see a bit of more of a delay given how Stream Deck works, the connection with OBS sometimes, uh, but it's fine. As you can see, like, the process is seamless. I can go to like Angi and to Blush and to Angi again and to Normal and to Angi and to Blush and to Angi and to Blush and to Normal. Super simple, super uh, fast. And as you can see here, Talk it online works. Puckers while talking because given that the three sources are in are essentially the same right they are just the bts poc browser source um no matter if you t uh, toggle them on and off middle uh, in the middle of a sentence a poke will continue to your your pet in your case will continue to like talk and do everything uh same as before right you're not going to stop mid sentence because you change expression so feel free to change and puppet puppet your uh pet as best and uh, as you can and however you feel like it's going to be fun. So, some clarifications. As I said before, this is just two examples of what you can do using OBS, browser sources, and um, in this case, Streamerbot and Stream Deck. You can also do this with Sami. I'm not too savvy on Sami configuration. I get a bit, a bit confused with Sami uh, whenever I try to set up something, so I kind of gave up uh, trying to make tutorials for that. But if you know your way well about Sami, I know for sure you can set this up with Sami too. The logic is the same. You just need hotkey, toggle the sources, and then you just need to have like the proper um, 
group in OBS setup so you can move your pets around together and have the, the sources overlap. But there's some other programs that can do the same. And as I said before, you want to use MidSetup, you can do the same logic, but with like a command or like um, a redeem or whatever, and it will work the same. This is not ideal. I know that it's not actual expressions. It's like a way to get expressions with PNG pets, but given the limitations that we have with these pets at the moment, it's not a bad solution in my opinion. I think you can do quite fun stuff if you are you give yourself some time and, and be creative about it. So yeah, hopefully it helps and see you guys on the next one. Bye bye and ending. See ya.